one is from Akina. My father was in an accident a month ago. Everything is clear. The other guy caused the wreck. Does he still need a lawyer? I get why you need a lawyer if things aren't clear, but what does a lawyer do if there's no dispute about who caused the wreck? You know, that's a great, great question, Akina, but uh, oftentimes, even though there may not be a dispute about the liability portion, there, there actually will be a dispute about how, how injured or how hurt someone actually may have been as a result of the accident. Insurance companies, they love to put you through the ropes and say, hey, look, you were not as injured as you, as you are claiming you are. It's a subjective test. It's not an objective test. You can only take objective tests with MRIs or CT scans, uh, x-rays and things of the sort. But when you start talking about, hey, I was really injured in this accident, and you have another party disputing it, saying, hey, look, I have no question that I was at fault in the accident. Maybe, maybe I ran a stop sign or a red light or just ran into the back of you and wasn't paying attention. I'll admit that. But oftentimes, they will not admit or concede the fact that you are as injured as you may uh, think that you are. Um, insurance companies love to do uh, independent medical examinations where they're having a physician come in, he reads your, your records that were prepared after months and months and months and months of treatment from an actual physician who actually treated you, but yet the insurance company hires an, uh, a doctor to read those reports and oftentimes, about 95% of the time, they conclude that you are not as injured as you think you were and that doctor either overbilled or, or over medicated in a way that are, or over treated, I guess is a better way of looking at it, your injuries and symptoms. Now, that doesn't really fly a lot of times when you get in front of a jury because that physician only took a look at your file for maybe a few hours where another physician who was treating you actually treated you for months and months and months and knew your case in depth. Keep in mind, even though somebody will admit, hey, I caused this accident, they're not gonna concede the fact that you are as injured as you say that you are, and an insurance company will do all everything they can to disprove uh, your injuries. So, do you need an attorney? Absolutely. Even though you think there's no question about liability, there will be a question later about your case, uh, who's treating you, how they treated you, and you don't want an insurance company just taking free shots at you. So, no matter if you think it's clear, hiring an attorney, that's your best move. Chris, a follow-up question to that. Is that why it's important to uh, call any law enforcement, even if you don't think there's a super big accident or may you may not need someone to... Uh, like a report of it. Is that why it's important to get that? Uh, well, well, Corey, that's a great question. A lot of times you want to actually, you know, make call 911 first, make sure everybody's okay. Right. And then, you know, oftentimes you want a, a law enforcement officer to be there because they memorialize the, the, the incident. They actually prepare an incident report. And in all that incident report, it lists the names of uh, the drivers associated, it lists the names of anyone that owns the vehicle, that may be someone different than the person who's actually driving the vehicle, and then that opens you up to multiple layers of insurance coverage that may be available to you. So calling a law enforcement officer, even though you know you may not even want a ticket to be issued to the other person, and oftentimes uh, you know, the officer won't issue the ticket if he doesn't think that one needs to be issued, but by all means, call an officer because at that point, you're actually, um, taking down a, you know, a, a, and a, and a report of the information because a lot of times people can give you bad information. They give you a fictitious name or a bad address or maybe you know, a wrong phone number. But if, if the officer's there to memorialize the event and take it down on paper, well then guess what? He's getting the right information because it's, it's a crime to give an officer misleading information or incorrect information. Mm, right, right. What if, what if the officer takes something down incorrectly? What if you, you, you're talking about the scene, maybe you have differing reports, you maybe didn't cause the accident, but the officer maybe hits you with a reckless driving ticket. Is that something you can contest? Absolutely, you can contest any ticket in, in, in Bay County or in the state of Florida. Uh, you have the right to go contest that. Call the, the actual uh, issuing officer to court. Have him question about the accident. And a judge will make a decision whether or not the officer was correct in his analysis of the incident or not. Now, keep in mind, just because you win the ticket or lose the ticket, it doesn't carry over to the civil side so many so much. Is because you can still uh, dispute who was at fault in the accident. So you may win the ticket or the other person may beat the ticket, but doesn't mean that they're exonerated on the civil side.